Hey guys, Birdman here, or a lot of you guys know Ryan, and today I will be doing a tutorial on Twixer. It has been heavily requested, and I thought I should go ahead and do that. So let's go hop in, go ahead and hop in to Sony Vegas. All right, so I've already imported my clip here. <clears throat> Sorry guys, and Twixer is a plugin, so you are going to have to find a way to get that. I don't want to put a tutorial or make make a video or you know put a link in the description on how to get it just because I do not want to put my channel at risk trust me though it is really really easy to get alright so um, first things first you want to find the part of the clip that you want a Twixer for me this is uh, from my OC number 12 I, uh, I usually like the Twixer like when the sniper's going away and they're switching to their pistol especially when they're in air I just think it looks really smooth so about there is where I want Twixer so what I'll do is I'll press S to split. Also, guys, always remember for every clip, go to properties, and disable resample. That is so important. Also, I'm just going to disable the audio by you know just pressing U and go over to audio and delete. Okay, let's just zoom in and see what we're doing here. So here, whoops. Here is where the beginning of Twixer is, and usually over time, you know, you'll get used to Twixer. I mean. You know, this is the beginning where it is, but over here he's already on the ground. But I can tell you just from experience of using a lot of it, you could just drag in Twixer from here and he'll probably only get a scope to maybe there. Alright, so once you have Twixer, I like to use Twixer Pro. I I don't think Twixer or Twixer Pro has any difference at all. But I just like to use Twixer Pro instead, especially, you know, when one of them, there's a difference of how, in all capital letters, it says Pro. There's obviously got to be something better between the two of them. Anyways, um, I have a preset here. <coughs> just go ahead and drag it in. And then go ahead and copy down these settings. I have display as Twixer output. All. I have this check. Speed 0.8 seems to be like a fast, slow, and very smooth setting that I found. I used to do 0.2, but there were a lot of comments saying that it was very slow and I do agree that is very very slow so I find point eight to be really really good I've been using it in the past like all my edits uh... frame zero best um... hundred no check motion weight forward checked zero cut a zero and three thousand that's really all there is to it <coughs> So here we can just go ahead and highlight, hold down shift and press B. He's gonna do this little trick. There he shoots and then I begin to Twixer. Twixer, when you do a RAM preview, does take a long time. Also keep in mind too, when you are rendering, Twixer does take a very, very long time to do. That's just something I wanna keep in mind with you guys. Alright, so let's just go ahead and hit play so you can just kinda see like how slow it goes and how smooth it is. There you go, guys. Easy, simple, very fast, especially with the preset tutorial on Twixter. Yeah, it's a lot simpler than you think it would be. Very smooth. There's barely any blending at all. It's definitely my favorite settings that I've discovered so far. You could play around with the settings too. Maybe the speed. That's really all I'd recommend. I think I, with me playing around with it, I found it basically the best settings for it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the tutorial. Um, make sure to leave comments below on what I should do next, and I'll catch you guys later.